Good afternoon. Beautiful April day, and uh, I'm doing another tutorial for you. Jamming them in today. Okay, this is really to show you how to light a big space. Had a couple of requests for that. And um, I'm also going to show you the darkened mode window pull for here and how to uh, add in a little uh, ambience. So, without any further ado, let me show you here. This is the final shot, and I'm going to show you a reverse angle so you can see where I put my lights. So I'm going to go back to here, and this is the reverse angle. And I'm going to show you. I was standing here, so you can see that right let me go one more here. You can see the right here. My camera is back in here. Okay, so I'm back in there behind the counter. I put up a triple a bracket with three young Nuo flashes. I've been telling, telling people about it. It's a nice alternative to uh, a very expensive light. And I put it up right in here. So I had three young Nuos bouncing about down about here, about a foot below the white ceiling here. Then I had another one, I think I handheld right in here, give me a little more light. And then I put one on this side, and as you can see, I have, can't see the left hand side. So I can put one right here, probably, and I'm about a foot, again, about a foot below the ceiling, giving a nice bounce straight up, and I'm doing one about here. So I'm lighting this area in here. Okay, so let me go here. So this picture is the final image, and let's go and figure out what we're going to do as far as um, using frames. So I'm going to close that. Okay, hold on. Sorry. Okay, this is going to be my ambient frame here. It's going to give me some nice shadow here, and it's going to help me with a couple of issues. Now the color is kind of warm, so I'm just going to bring it down a little bit cooler, okay? Maybe a little more. And I've taken the highlights out of here. So with the highlights, I don't really need the highlights. So I'm just bringing it in and getting a little more shadow. Okay, the next one is going to be my lit shot right here. So you saw I told you I have a flash here, a flash here, Three flashes here and one flash here. So you need a lot of power for this room. I always suggest at least three, carry three flashes. You might need more. You may want to bring a strobe with you to have in your car. You never know because when you get a big room like this, you might need power. And this was actually a really good scenario. So I've got shadows up here, which I'm going to deal with. The ambient shot is going to take care of the shadows and the ceiling. Looks much nicer. But everything else looks pretty good except for... Da, 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 the window. So what am I going to do for this window? Well, let's uh, go here and see what I'm going to do. Hold on a second. Okay. So this is the window dark and pull. This is what I'm going to do here is I've got right at camera, a flash, and I'm pointing it at this wall. Okay. And my goal here is to overexpose Everything in front of the window, which is the window frame, the chair, the nozzle here, the frame here, everything, the countertop here. And then when I put it in darken mode, I can just paint it in because nothing is going to be picked up. It's not going to mask over this. It's only going to mask in this view because the view is darker than this view. Okay, great. Anyway, let's now highlight the three images I'm going to bring in. Okay, I got them in. I'm going to right click, edit in, uh, open as layers in Photoshop. <clears throat> Give it a few seconds. Take a sip of lemonade. Oh boy. Okay, they're opening up. And we're going to name our layers. I don't really need to do that because I know which one is which. But when you start dealing with more than two or three layers, you might want to name them because it gets a little complicated. Okay. Okay. Three layers open. Let's do this. This is ambient. Let's go here. 
this is the lit frame and let's go here this is the window okay so we want to take our lit frame on the bottom bring our ambient layer on top of that and then turn off the window layer okay so we want to mask parts of this in mainly just up here and what we're going to do is hold down the option key on a Mac and the alt key on a PC and add a, add a layer mask there we go okay there we have our lit frame so I've got it on white on paint I got 100% opacity on flow I'm gonna bring it to 3% and I'm gonna make sure that I have a nice soft brush with zero hardness okay let's just take care of that shadow up in the ceiling okay so open this up pretty much going to go all ambient on the ceiling there we go there you go it's so fast and easy when you do it okay so you can see now the difference whoops sorry you can see the difference let me get even more okay there we go now the other place i want to take it is it looks a little flashy here you can see that the, there's a flash right here can't see it but it's there so I'm just going to take it out with my ambient so bring this down nice and easy okay taking out the glare of the lights there we go and I'm going to take it out from here make it a little less flashy looking okay there we go okay hold on my computer keeps doing that yep there we go okay sorry i don't know why it keeps moving like that if anybody knows let me know okay so i'm gonna I'm gonna paint in now a little ambient into this tv screen so i think it's gonna help nope actually never mind okay so i've done that and I think this is a pretty good shot as it is. It's uh, nice and crisp in the foreground. And I'll be honest with you, if I had a bigger light, I probably would have pumped more light in here, just bombard this room. But it, it worked pretty good. And I think I was at one sixth of a second shutter speed. So it was a lot of ambient light on the uh, lit shot. Anyway, okay, so we wanna get these windows here. We really like this right up here. This is natural shine coming from the light. It kind of adds natural to it. But if we bring down our window layer above our lit layer, turn that on and turn off the ambient layer. Oh, you know, we can keep the ambient layer on. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna paint in here. And we can see again, this is brighter than the layer underneath it and the the window view is darker so in darkened mode which we're going to do now we're going to hold down the option key on a Mac alt key on a PC and we're going to add a layer mask uh -huh. and we've got the window layer uh, selected bring that there and then we're gonna have a mask okay now what I want to do is to just go here and I want to make sure that my brush is on i want to because it's a window mask i'm going to go to a hard edge brush okay and i'm going to go to a hundred percent you can do it any way you want but this is what i'm doing now because it's my video okay let's go right here and as we do with darken mode remember i'm going to show you this up close remember the frame underneath it is brighter here brighter here but darker here and if I put it in darken mode, let me leave it on natural mode. I'll just show you. If I paint it in here, you'll see it, it doesn't work. Okay? Right. So I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to put it in darken mode. So only the things that are darker will be masked in. So watch this. Same thing. Watch that. Cool, huh? Actually, it's doing a little bit of the countertop, but that's okay. Watch this. Nothing here. Watch. Cool, huh? I love it every time I see it. Okay. So, now let's go up here. I'm just going to keep it within the restraints. Actually, I'm going to paint in this window right here. There we go. I like it. Okay. 
So there we go. Okay, there, this is, the darken mode's not working because I didn't get it dark enough. I didn't get it overexposed enough, but you can see how I'm going to fix this. I'm going to go to erase this now, and I've got, I'm clicking X and it turns it black. New trick I just learned from someone, someone that was watching my videos. Anyway, I am at 100%. I'm just going to actually bring it down to about 20%. And I'm just going to erase what I painted in here by accident because the darken mode's not quite working. Anyway, but you get the idea. Okay, now I'm going to just bring it up here and get rid of some of that I painted in. There we go. I want to make sure I got it down here all nice. Yeah. Okay. So there you have it. I think it looks really nice. And one more thing I'm going to do. Nope, that's about it. I think that's all I'm going to do. Now you could paint in. Let me go back into paint mode. I'll click X. It turns white. You could, you could put the the darken shot look at this it's actually let me go to a soft brush again okay i'm going to take that out and i could just paint back some of the shine if i wanted because the lit frame the uh window frame got rid of all that shine but honestly i like it this way better okay anyway so there you have it, and uh, I want to thank you all for watching my, uh, my video, and uh, be sure to leave a comment, uh, leave a thumbs up, and if you have any requests, you can put them in the group or on the, uh, on the YouTube channel, or you can email me at rich at richbomb.com. Talk to you later. Thanks a lot. Bye.